I mean, why does it sound like a plane is just gonna land on my block? That's scary. everyone Monroe Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel do not forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion beauty lifestyle and travel videos you guys I have a massive high low luxury haul for you all today and it's gonna be great I'm also gonna be tagging some of my favorite fashion youtubers to do a similar haul so stay tuned to find out who I'm going to be tagging and of course today's video is in partnership with Farfetch you all know I am a Farfetch ambassador Farfetch is one of my favorite places to shop if you've never shopped at Farfetch please head over there right now basically it's an on online site where you can shop thousands of boutique retailers all over the world sometimes your things might come from London sometimes they might come from Miami it just depends but the shipping is so quick you guys I love shopping at far pitch because I know I'm gonna get my products in two to three days tops and anytime I can't find something online, I know I'm going to find it at Farfetch. So make sure to check them out. I will have a 10% coupon code for you guys. Some terms and conditions do apply. So just check the description box for those. But definitely just give the code a try. It probably will work. And also make sure to check out my edit over on Farfetch's website. Yes, I have my very own edit on Farfetch with a list of things that I am loving right now. Things that I have bought. Things that I'm thinking about buying. So if you have similar taste you could check that out I will link it down below in the description box for you all so without further ado we're gonna go ahead and get into today's high low luxury haul and speaking of high low lux this video is inspired by my girl Janae of high low lux she is a fashion blogger and a youtuber if you have never heard of her like what are you doing with your life make sure to go and check out her youtube channel next and she is one of the people I will be tagging to also do a high low luxury haul so before we get into the haul let's go ahead and get into today's outfit of the day and it's pretty fitting because it is from high low lux's line yes today we're all about my girl Janae So to start off with my makeup, I know someone is gonna ask me about this lip. This is NARS Consuming Red, and it's a really great red for fall, kind of deep, kind of berry-like, and I'm absolutely loving it. I will link it down below for you guys. The earrings are actually going to be in this haul. These are pretty new. These are Jacquemus. Also got these from Farfetch. I just love how big they are. Like, I'm really into big hoop earrings. Especially when I rock my Afro Puff. I mean, it's a vibe. The dress is from the Hilo Lux line. It is a white ribbed wrap dress and I hope you were able to get your hands on it because it is stunning, it is amazing and I will be wearing it all fall and winter long. And of course, because your girl is really into combat boots, I paired them with my Ash combat boots that I also got at Farfetch, you guys they are like bottega-esque without that huge price tag they're a fraction of the price and they are so good i've been wearing them every single day they're so comfy and i love them definitely go half a size down if you invest in them and that is my outfit of the day so let's go ahead and hop right into the haul i will be starting with a few things that i got from farfetch All right guys, so we're gonna start with the luxe portion of the haul and work our way down. Ugh, now this one, I am over the moon about. <laughs> ah! Okay, do you guys remember when I recreated fashion show looks? If you haven't checked out that video, that's probably one of the most creative and fun videos I've ever done, recreating fashion show looks. And this is one of the looks that I recreated from the Jacquemus show earlier this year. I loved these pants. These pants were on my wish list once I saw the show and I was really sad because I thought that they weren't going to go into production and they did. Ah! 
<laughs> I can't believe that they actually went into production. I have been waiting for these. So I love how they have the little Jacquemus here on the back. You guys know I like really edgy kind of tomboyish cargo style pants and these just fit the bill. They rang all my bells. I love here how they kind of have like this exposed part which is kind of I guess supposed to be like your underwear, your boxer. It has a really beautiful pattern on it. It's just a really cool pant. You can wear them kind of open and zip down with this part up. I mean, ugh, I love them. I got my normal size, which is a size 38 and they fit perfectly. So really happy about these. I like to wear them rolled up. I will pair them with my little Zara like knitted top and perhaps my Bottega Lido Mules. Special thank you to Melissa's wardrobe because I actually saw her in a picture with these and that's what let me knew that they actually went into production because I didn't think that these were gonna be made. Ugh, love, love, love these. Ugh, they're just so like edgy. They really ring all of my bills. By the way, everything I show you in this video is linked down below in the description box. If it's not available, I will link similar items. Don't forget to use my Farfetch code though. Could save you some coins. The next thing I got from Farfetch is another Jacquemus piece. I got a Jacquemus dress <sighs> from Farfetch. I wanted to give it a try because if you guys watch my worst <laughs> designer purchases video you already know that I've already bought this dress once in white I mean this is a beautiful sage green it is that wrap mini skirt and I just wanted to give it a chance I thought maybe the white fabric it was kind of see-through it did just didn't feel substantial so I really love this green color it's like almost a mint green and I thought I would give it a try and I'm not sure about it guys. I'm not sure. Like, first of all, it's very short. Like if I just move even a little inch, if I try and drop it like it's hot one time, I might flash my hoo-ha to like all of Miami. And yes, I bought this dress with Miami in mind. And I know that it's supposed to be like a little awkward, a little weird with the tailoring, but I can't move one arm up and the other arm I can move freely. I just, I just don't know. And then this side over here, I just don't understand why the whole side is puffy. Why doesn't it come in a little bit and give some waist? I mean, I'm just, just so confused. You guys tell me, you see how it looks on me. You see where it hits. You see this extra fabric. You see where I can't really move my arm. And I mean, is it worth it? Let me know in the comments, guys. Should I keep this dress or should I send it back? Like. I think I'm gonna send it back to be honest. All right guys, so next up from Farfetch, they're actually not here yet, but I will superimpose video of me showing them and wearing them. Are these a Goldie denim jeans? Now I already have about three pair of a Goldie jeans. They are my absolute favorite. So on trend, so good. I saw these on Farfetch and I was like, had to have them okay these are the balloon a goldie denim jeans super high-waisted super balloon effect legs Ugh, it's the stuff of dreams I love them so much like I could just see myself wearing them with a super tall heel and like a teeny tiny crop top and it just being a moment and a look and a vibe and just all of the above and I happen to have stumbled across these while looking in the new end section on Farfetch so like if you want to stay abreast of all the things that are popping up and popping out all of the new awesome fashions and, and things make sure to check out the new end section on Farfetch because they're on point and they know what they're doing over there I got a size 27 they fit divinely uh, at least i hope they're fitting divinely in the video that i'm showing you right now so don't forget use my code for 10 percent off some terms and conditions do apply at farfetch you can check those down below in the description box and also make sure to check out my edit on farfetch to see what i'm probably gonna buy because let's face it i'm probably gonna buy everything on this edit <sighs> let's get into a few more 
luxe things I've gotten in. I've already shown you guys these earrings from Jacquemus, but they did come in this really cute little dust bag. I don't know what it is. I actually just cleared out my jewelry case of things that I don't really wear anymore and I'm really trying to refine my statement earrings. I don't know what it is, but I love a good statement earring and these are doing it for me. These are giving me like 80s vibes. But they are pretty substantial which i'm glad about because sometimes when you buy fashion jewelry it isn't made as well but these are very substantial here it says made in italy and here it says jacquemus i've actually worn these a few times i'm really just trying to refine my statement jewelry collection and get the most bang for my buck next up another piece i did buy from farfetch are the ash boots that i showed you guys earlier in my outfit of the day i've shown these a few times in my vlogs but a lot of you don't watch my vlogs if you're just here for the fashion so sometimes you'll miss out on things so i just wanted to show them again these are the ash liam combat boots that i got from farfetch these give me bottega vibes without the price tag they lace up the front they still have that like nice round chunky boot feel and of course an inner zipper to make it super easy to get them on and off they aren't very heavy but of course you know they are chunky but i love these compared to the bottegas i actually prefer these more the great thing about these is they also have these in a tall size so if you want the kind of bottega look or like the prada look they have these in a tall size that i think are very cost effective loving these so if you're interested i have linked these down below I would size down an entire size normally I get a 41 in any euro made shoe and these I got a 40 because I expected them to run large with which most boots like this do and I'm pretty sure you can use my 10% coupon code on these as well so get into them and please do remember if you happen to purchase anything from any of my links down below I do get a small commission for the brand and this helps your girl out a lot it shows me your support so yeah thank you so much in advance all right, my loves, next up in luxury ah, is this Balma bag. I actually got this a few weeks ago and you would have seen it in one of my most recent vlogs. It was my doing the most vlog. So if y'all not watching my vlogs, y'all sometimes are getting things late. You should watch my vlogs. This is my first Balmain piece. I'm really into yellow right now. It's one of the hottest colors of the fall season. It has this super cute top handle. I love the gold hardware because I tend to wear a lot of gold. It is see-through, which is great because I just love that style. It's a little washed out right now, but it's a lot brighter than it's coming across on camera. I love that it also comes with a dust bag and it also comes with a thick shoulder strap so that you can wear it cross body. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. So I almost forgot to show you guys these Gia Couture white chunky boots which will also be in the luxury section because they were quite expensive and i love these i just don't know how to wear them i've seen so many cool like it girls with these boots and i'm just like i do need a white boot that's flat because i don't have one i have a heeled white boot but I, I gotta figure out a way to wear these i really do but i absolutely i do love them if i can find any of these online for you all i will link them down below they're pretty much an urban myth at this point but hopefully i can find a few and i will link them next up in luxury your girl got a brand new pair of valentino sunglasses <laughs> omg <laughs> they're good right they are so good when i bought these i didn't have any white sunglasses and the shape you know who sold me on this shape was my girl vanna vane she has some similar glasses but i think hers are gucci every time she wears them i'm like wow and so i went online searching and i found these i think these actually also came from farfetch i love everything about them <laughs> i've been around the world I feel very rich. If I can find any more online, because I think I bought the last pair, I will link them down below in the description box and you can check them out. But I love this. 
this little bee here. Ah, oh, so good. They also came in this little box. Super cute little case. And I'm pretty sure there's a little cleaning wipe too. And this is the case and a little wipe. Very aesthetic about these. I did find some like dupes. I'll put those down below in the description box for you guys as well. You guys, I almost forgot like two of my main luxury purchases. <laughs> wow. And it is these Bottega Lido Mules in both ice blue and purple. Paprika, why can't I say that word? Orange. Bottega Veneta Mules, ah, I love them. You might have seen these on the gram, perhaps, but these are the two colors that I wanted the most. I usually go for a size 41, which is a Euro 11, and these, even though I'm a US size 10, they fit perfectly. So the thing about these <laughs> Bottega Lido mules is that they are super expensive, but honestly, I feel like they're worth the money because not only are they stunning, they're like works of art, but they are the most comfortable pair of heels that I own. I always say this, they are so comfortable. These are literally one of the only pairs of pumps or sandals in my wardrobe that I can wear all day long. Like literally walking the streets of New York, walking the streets of Miami, no blisters, feet feel like heaven after you take them off. All right, loves, so that is it for the luxe portion of this haul. I'm not gonna go into like prices and breaking things up into price categories because I feel like price is subjective. Everybody thinks that this might be expensive. Some people might think that's not expensive. So we're just not even gonna get into that. If you wanna know how much it is, just click the link down below. But let's now get into the high version of this haul. And I'm gonna start with my brand new Tibby coat. I actually got this on sale. You might've seen it in a previous haul for all of my fall and winter coats. If you're looking for great coats, make sure to check out that video next. I went through my, not entire collection, but the ones that are gonna be trending this season, I went through all of my coats. And I have to show you this one. Ah! You guys, this color is everything. So this is my brand new blue satin, kind of like baby blue satin trench coat from Tibby. It's super long, has a cool little belt, has huge pockets. I've actually worn this already. I'll pop a photo up from the gram. Also, make sure you're following me on Instagram because I feel like I post there. Well, <laughs> I do post there more than I post here. Like these YouTube videos are a lot of work, y'all. At Monroe Steel, check me out. Love, love, love this coat. Love pairing this with like chocolate brown. I feel like this blue and chocolate brown or this blue and a deep pop of orange. It's the color combo of the season. You heard it here first, kids. Tibby actually has this coat for sale right now on their website. And I think it's even an extra percentage off. So I will link it down below. I went with my normal size, which is a medium. It fits a little oversized. It's perfect. I can really cinch it in with the, the waist belt. And it's a look. So next up on the high list are these earrings. These are actually vintage Prada earrings. And they're just blue swirly earrings. I absolutely love them. I got these off of Tradesy. Tradesy is one of my favorite places to shop online for used designer goods or gently loved designer goods. I will link a few of my favorite things from their site down below. You can definitely check them out. But what I love about these is that they are clip-ons. And since blue is the color of the season, I mean, I just showed you a blue coat. Like, ugh, is this the right ear? So cute. Like I said, I'm, I really am rounding out my statement jewelry collection. And of course this is like fast fashion jewelry, but it's designer. So I didn't pay that much for them, which is great, but I absolutely love them. And I would put them in the high category. Uh, so cute. Maybe I'll do an updated jewelry collection video for you guys. I've done one before. So if you check my hauls and you wanna see all of my jewelry. But since then, I've kind of done a lot of shopping. So yeah. Love these Prada. Next up in the high portion of this haul, we have this Simeo 
collective dress you guys know i love see me Yo collective it's one of my favorite aussie dressed brands look at this patchwork midi dress it has pink it has white it has orange and it has this beautiful maroon like you guys this is going to be my new favorite dress i also love how these seams are kind of exposed you all know in my very own collection we did a dress that has exposed seams as well as a top it's such a trendy really cool like a unique design aspect to clothing but i saw this dress on one of my good blogger booze yolanda and i was like girl I never bought something so fast in my life. I went with my normal size, which is a size medium. Ugh. And I love that I can pair these with these pink Bottega mules. I can even do the white with these. Like, ugh, so many different things I can do. I can do the orange. When I saw this dress, I knew that it would work well with my shoes. And so I had to have it. I will link it down below for you guys if you are interested i am five foot six inches tall i am a size us six and i think that's it for my specs <laughs> last but not least in the high section is this lilac or lavender colored linen shiny blazer from and other stories it was originally 219 dollars but i did get it on sale it might have been 40 percent off i do get gifted things from and other stories and i will show you some new and gifted items from them but this i actually purchased with my own money i had to have it you want to know why because i already have it in black and i also already have it in pink and it is just the most epic blazer it's the perfect length like it just adds a certain little pop to every single outfit these two were gifted by the way are you enjoying this video so far if so hook your girl up with a thumbs up go ahead and subscribe and click that little notification bell so that you never miss a video i don't want you to miss out i don't want to get lost in the sauce of all of the videos you know subscribe it makes things easier for you and me so before we get into the low portion of this haul i'm going to be tagging two other of my favorite fashion youtubers that i love watching the first being my girl rose dadu chic i know that she can fulfill this i know that she can do it so make sure you are following rose dadu chic here on youtube she does a lot of hauls already so i think it will be really easy for her to do a high low luxury haul as well in addition to my girl rose i've also tagged Brittany of pockets and bows i mean i love watching her she she gets it okay when it comes to luxury she gets it when it comes to lifestyle and fragrances she gets it so i think that she would also do an amazing job at this high low lux video challenge so make sure you are following her her style is amazing as well so high low lux my girl janae Dadu Chic, my girl Rose, and Pockets and Bows, my girl Brittany. Check their YouTube channels out and be on the lookout for their high low luxury hauls coming soon. All right, guys, so first up, ugh, wow. These sunglasses I picked up from ASOS or ASOS, depending on where you live in the world, and ugh, are they good? They're like so like 70s vibes, like bow, check, bow, bow, but also just ugh, everything. They're a vibe and a look. I love that gradient. I mean, I really wanted some huge sunglasses and, and I was about to drop like so much money on a designer pair. Thank God I just went to ASOS and looked first because this is exactly what I was looking for. It doesn't always have to be designer. It doesn't always have to be expensive. Like I really don't care too much about labels I just like what I like and I like these I don't care that they were only ten dollars in fact that's what makes it amazing if they are still available I will link them below if not I will still link them when they come back in stock sign up for a notification all right guys next up we have these pretty lavish wrap cardigan dresses you might have seen me wearing these in like sit down videos or haul videos but I've never actually just shown you guys these dresses 
I have it in this like rose color. I have it of course in this blue color and I even have one in like a cream or a white. I'll show it to you. But I love these dresses so much that I bought three of them in like different colors because a wrap dress is perfect for fall. You can pair it with a suede boot. You can pair it with a boot like these. I recently got in from Stuart Weitzman. I went with my normal size, which is a size small, medium, and it fits really well. If you're a, anywhere from a six to an eight, I think the small, medium would fit you. Anything above an eight, I would go with the large. And look at that quality too. The quality is actually pretty good. All right guys, so next up we have this trench coat that I brought from ASOS. I feel like I showed this to you in my fall coats video but I wanted to include it here because it's so good and if you are in the market for a good fall coat ASOS has the goods like everything is pretty much under like $120 most of the really cool trench coats are under a hundred or less and they also have a really good array of plus size options for coats too but I just love this I love the two-tone of the collar I just think it's so cool and so chic and there was so many coats on ASOS I wanted to buy, but I'm like holding back because I don't plan on wearing a lot of coats. I love the sleeves too. You can tighten them depending on how tight or loose you want them. And of course it has this little tie so that you could tie it tighter around your waist. Just a really good coat. I went with the size US 8. I'm normally a size six, but I like to get my coats oversized because I have broad shoulders and I like the oversized look. So I went with a size eight and it fits perfectly. You can go with your normal size or maybe up one size if you want a little more room to wear like a thick chunky sweater underneath. All right, love. So next up, I have a few pieces that were actually gifted to me by Ann Other Stories. I am one of their ambassadors and they let me pick out a few items every single month. So let's get into those. So first up, we have this stunning blue top that I actually wore on Instagram recently and in a blog post. I'm loving the neckline on this and also because it's blue, which is one of my new favorite colors. I wrote a blog post all about like the three tips for dating during a pandemic. I do write. Make sure to head on over to my blog, Fashion Steel NYC. Check out the essay section because that's where all the good juicy stuff is. There's also tons of shopping posts and fashion posts and outfit posts as well. So if you just need more of me and YouTube twice a week is not enough. I also post twice weekly on my blog, Fashion Steel NYC, and almost every single day on Insta Stories and on Instagram. I wore this recently and like, I got so much love on the outfit I paired this with, but this top is a size medium. I think it also comes in black and in white. As you can see, it is a thin ribbed knit. It's not see-through at all. It does have some stretch and it's kind of like a crop top almost. It's not really a crop and it's not a long shirt. <laughs> so it's somewhere in between. It has nice long sleeves. It's just a really good color for fall. I would pair this with like a chocolate brown skirt or even like an orange pencil skirt like I did recently. And I got something else blue. So I also got a chunky, Thick knit sweater from And Other Stories. You can see it has a ribbed round neck, very fluffy, nice sleeves. I got the size medium and I love it. It feels super soft. It is really thick. All of And Other Stories like sweaters and outerwear and denim jeans, just everything I get from them is always amazing quality. So you know it's going to last, even though it's kind of a little bit more expensive on the lower end price point of a high street brand, you really get your money's worth. All right, last but not least from And Other Stories, I was gifted these super cute track sweatpants, which are just, I mean, let's face it, they're in. You could dress them up with the heel, you could dress them down with the boot, you could throw over a blazer, you can wear them to the bodega. I just plan on wearing these around the house, but they are pretty fancy. Like, I love that, like, nudie color. They have pockets. They are that sweatshirt material with the drawstring. They're pretty long, actually. And I like how they style these on the Ann Other Stories website as well. I got my normal size. Wait, no. I thought these were a medium. 
these are a large no wonder they're huge on me i might have to send these back but i'll try them on anyway so you guys can see how they look i would go with your normal size if you're in the market for some really well-made loungewear that you could dress up dress down wear out of the house check out and other stories i will link this and everything else down below in the description box all right guys now to end the low section of this haul i have four pieces from h and m who are just killing it at the moment and you're gonna love these pieces oh get ready to get into it first up you guys know how i've been raving about chocolate brown chocolate brown is the color of the season you pair it with this blue and it's a look it's this chocolate brown faux leather high waist skirt from h&m it was only 19.99 i got the size six and this fits exactly like my way more expensive black leather skirt from and other stories it has a little zipper in the back like i said i'm five foot six inches tall so you can kind of see where it hits me mid thigh it's very soft very plush but again this is not real leather this is like faux and it's just lovely like it hugs me in all the right places i love that it's high waisted it really gives you that hourglass shape hopefully these are still available if they're not online definitely check in store because they have them in store for sure and i loved it so much that i also got it in this white well not really white it's more like a, a beige cream color also got the size six again 19.99 for a nice luxe look without the luxe price tag and just ugh, such a good skirt for fall definitely get the chocolate brown one if you can because this one looks so much more expensive and pairing it with something that's blue is just it's everything next up from h&m a fluffy white sweater because you can never have too many this one is so well made the material there it's almost like a fluffy teddy bear it has these poofy shoulders and kind of a square neckline you can even wear it off the shoulder as well but i just love this sweater i think everybody needs a good fuzzy sweater for fall and winter and i even see myself pairing this with this faux leather skirt from h&m or even the chocolate brown one i mean it just works that color combo and like a white boot you guys know i live for a white boot and that is a whole look i got a size medium in this i probably could have gotten a small i feel like around the shoulders it's a little big so you can probably size down in this if you need to it also has a ton of stretch and last but not least from h&m is this gray long boyfriend cardigan that was only 20 bucks from the conscious collection and i just love this because if i need to just throw on an extra layer to run to the grocery store or to run errands or to the bodega and it's not quite cold enough for a coat then this just works perfectly it is a great layering piece and i love that heather gray color you can see how thick it is it's very well made a little bit of stretch definitely going to get you through the fall and the winter it doesn't have pockets though all right guys so there you have it my first ever high low luxury haul if you enjoyed this video please do give your girl a thumbs up make sure to subscribe and click that little notification bell so that you never miss a video i hope you all enjoyed it and special thanks to farfetch for sponsoring today's video remember everything you saw in this video is linked down below in the description box and if you use my links that will help me out so so much all right guys i will see you all in the next one make sure to head on over to today high low lux youtube channel rose dadu chic youtube channel and Brittany pockets and bows youtube channel to check out their spin on this high low luxury challenge next and don't forget to check out my farfetch code for 10 percent off terms and conditions do apply so check the description box down below for those as well all right guys later Thank you.